Wow, wow, wow. I was like, hey, no, 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 no. I can't do this. I can't do this. So I, I, I made the decision to leave. But by that time, because of having family, the decision to leave could not just be leave and then figure it out. Mm. So I reached out to two friends, and I'll mention them. And I told them, hey, I'm struggling, Kidogo, especially with a new family. I really need um, a day job. Because um, this night thing is not working out for me. Mm. So the two people I reached out to are Monali and Kev, Kevin Mulay. So Monali, at that time, she was working on something. So she told me, Basically, what she told me was, I hear you, uh, I, can't, I can't help you right now, but I hear you. Mm. And I'll tell you why that I hear you was important. So, someday when I was speaking to Kev, Kev had come to Carnival. So Kev told me, you know, actually, this timing is good because I'm looking for, there's something I'm looking for. So long story short, I ended up leaving Carnival and immediately joined more sound as business development manager <laughs> <laughs> but carnival understood when you told yeah, them yeah carnival understood yeah yeah carnival mm. understood cuz i think quite a number of managers had, had done the same had done the same and also the position of entertainment manager was such that at some point you see it taking a toll on you cuz that thing of day and night mm. at some point it starts taking a toll on you so you see you see when uh, um Lona, Lona stayed for I think three years. Mm. Um, Julie, I think stayed for two years because she stayed at almost the exact time that I was at Capitol. Mm, mm. Then I also stayed for two years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I joined. I joined More Sound. I joined More Sound in. So let me ask, let me even before you talk about joining More Sound, this parenting thing, mm. you had made some decisions about the style in which you wanted to parent. Yeah. Because. Why the reason why I want to ask this? I'm thinking about somebody who's in that stage. Mm -hmm. For you, when you weighed the financial that you are earning from uh, and the packs mm -hmm. that you're getting from Carnival mm -hmm. at this time, mm -hmm. it wasn't equating mm. to the time lost. Yeah, with in your child's life. And then important also was remember my wife was working at KT and Standard Group, mm. but when we got when we got our son she actually sacrificed and left work. Mm. So she had stayed home for quite a while. But you see also, as much as I was there, I was not there. Yeah. So it was taking a toll on her. Mm. Like she held, she held Kabisa, she held Kabisa. In fact, to this day, I still say that a huge part of my son's growing up is thanks to my wife. Mm. Like. I would provide the money, but you know, it's, it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, yes, it's not about yes. money, yeah. you know. Um, so, also for me was, she has sacrificed so much, even me, I need to look at myself mm. and see what, 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 what uh, differences I have to make, you know. Um, so, when Kev told me he has that position, then it was easy. Okay. It was an easy thing. So, I joined... Mo sound in March 2010. You is it a horizontal move in terms of financial? Is it pay the same? Is it a downward move? No, it was it was slightly upward. Yeah, this was during Mo Sound's <laughs> good days. Eh? It was slightly <laughs> upward. So say you may figure to to something. Now it's when you start saying to some something. You don't throw figures now. <laughs> mm, it was slightly upward, mm. and it it uh, it. It had it had it had a lot of good moments. Number one, I was now introduced properly to the gospel music industry, mm. and now I understood differences between gospel and secular. So now we're in 2010. We're in 2010. Okay. So now we've gone. We we go round for groove awards, mm. groove 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 parties in the different towns. So business development. Explain to us what that. So means. business development was um, number one to find. Because at that point, Mo Sound was mostly uh, an events company running own events, but also doing activations for other clients, commercial activations for other clients. Mm. So my job was to find more of those, 
create more event properties for the company and also see what more we can draw from clients. So for example, you get called by Coca-Cola mm. to do activations because yeah. we ended up doing some activations for Coca-Cola. But there was need for an interface like client service where you bond with the client to see what more Look, can we what milk more, from you? Yeah, I get you what know. you mean. Yeah. You're already in. Mm. How do we now internally grow and get more Biashara? Yes, yes. So that was my job. So, of course, now I also had to go around the different events just to understand this is what Groove uh, parties are all about. Because we used to go to Machakos, yeah. Kisumu, you know, Nyeri, everywhere. Um, and... and uh, I, I got interested while I was at more sound I really 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 got interested in working for Safaricom mm. and we'll come to Safaricom <laughs> <laughs> but I really really I really really started being because uh, more sound and Safaricom had such a crazy partnership yes mm. and I used to I used to like their thinking like like the way they would see opportunities like we'd go for a groove party in Nyeri or Kisi or wherever. Mm. But then while we are doing the thing, the, the party on Saturday, daytime, so we've gone to that town like maybe two days before. Yep. You start seeing the things that they are doing on ground themselves as a build up to the party. Mm. So they are pushing the party, yes, but then they are also activating their brand on ground. Yep. So it was very interesting to see and learn those things. So I was like, wow, this is such an exciting brand. I'd like to work for them, you know. Um, one of the things that, one of the, one of the important people uh, that I met at Mo Sound, and you'll understand as we go along, because she, she kept on popping up in my life, um, is Joy Washira. Yep. So Joy Washira was in charge of, of Groove, Groove the awards mm. event. So we ended up forming a bond and she was so free. So she was very open to when I would ask like, how about if we do this, this way, this way, this way, this way. So at that point, Groove Awards used to start off with a nomination night mm. where it was almost like a press conference yep. where they just announced, so these are the nominees, nini nini, and then the, the, the event, the awards event happens now, like say a month or two or three after. So now I asked Joy, how do we make, how do we make the, the nomination night more interesting? Mm -hmm. So we even changed it and instead of just calling it Groove Nomination Night, it became GNN. Yeah, GNN. Yeah. So we made a production out of it. So this one, instead of just doing things kawaida, we made a whole spectacle of it. We even got guys, artists to come dressed in a certain way and we'd push because we knew the nomination list. We'd push to make sure the nominees are present, mm. you know, because and what and it was it was a bit difficult initially because you're now telling them that this is not the usual press conference where yep. you can just be at home and ask it to know the list. This was now we're making it a proper event. So I remember we did Louis Leakey Auditorium. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of having a boss who just lets you be, Kev Mulei, imagine at that point we told Kev, please trust us, yeah, not sure. leave us to it. <laughs> please just trust us, yeah. you know. And he did that. And we got, we got, um, we got uh, Joy Somondi to host. At that time, I don't even think she had started her music career. Mm. Joy Somondi was the host and she had a co-host. A guy who I think was probably seven or eight years old. <laughs> who is it? Oh, uh, I think I, I know who. You know who it is? Arkesan. Arkesan, yeah. Prince. Mm. But it was an amazing event. It was an amazing event. And that now started the, the thing of Groove Nomination Night being a whole production. So for me, that's one of the most memorable what? nights. I can book that had. night. Yeah. I remember that night. I even came for that event. Mm -hmm. So, sadly, 
I only worked at Mo Sound for 10 months. What? Yes. First and foremost, in Mo Sound is your bro working there at the time? No, not yet. Hassan is not no, there. No, 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 no. <laughs> Funny enough, at some point, my bro worked for Code Red. For Code Red? He worked for Insider, then he worked for Code Red. Dude, your bro is like the king of activation in yes, this country right yes, now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, no, wait. Hassan was there. Hassan was there. Yes, I know. I, I, I met Hassan before you and me. I was in that. Yes, Hassan was there. Hassan was there. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sorry. Hassan, Hassan was, was there. there. <laughs> yes. Yes, Hassan. Let me tell you why. <laughs> why I think I didn't remember. Hassan was... It's all your own bro. <laughs> no, not that. Has, it's just what you've said. Eh? Mm. Hassan was king of activations mm. that he used to spend most of his time Outside. in client offices. Mm. Because a lot of times he's the one who used to present the activations part. Mm. Hassan was there. Um, so, uh, I was telling you, I only spent 10 months at Mosound. So... So remember, you literally just did one groove and that's it. Mm. Remember when I told you when I was trying to leave Carnival, I spoke to two people mm -hmm. and one of them was Monali. So Monali at some point told me, I'm, I'm ready for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to Kev. I told Kev, listen, I have to go. So Kev, of course, was not happy. But because we were also boys and we had come from far, I told Kev, not necessarily in these words, but I told Kev, you know, let me go because wherever I'm going, I may be of more value to you out there. Because mm. we are boys, we'll still talk. And at that point, it's not necessarily, I'll give you Jobo from where I am. Yep. It's because the things that I'll learn there, I'll be telling you, then you will figure out how to, uh, to, uh, to, how to, how to, how to create an opportunity and get in, you know, because we are boys. Because even, even when I was at Capitol, when I was at Carnival, we still used to talk, like just exchanging ideas on the industry and all. So I left Mo Sound December 31st of 2010. <laughs> but that date, the significance of it was we were meant to do a groove party. Mm -hmm. But closer to the date, we received communication from, I think, the Ministry of Interior or whatever the ministry was at that point, that you can't do an event. Eh, hey, hey, hold on, your chicken wings in Mekuja. Letter mm -hmm. two, letter, letter this side. No, actually, let's leave them there. That, that no. side, you don't yeah. to, you, you don't, you don't eat by... Don't eat now. Okay, but I'm going to eat now. I'm going to eat now. You can eat. So, um... Let's, let's give, give it one sec, give it one sec. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, continue yeah. the story. So, um, we received an, a, a, a communication from the ministry at that point that there was a... There was a terror alert. Yeah. Um, I think it was like an Al Shabaab terror alert. Mm. So we were told we can't do the event. So a lot of events in 2010, December, were cancelled. Mm. So we ended up doing the groove party that was that always used to happen at the end of the year. Mm. We we convert we changed it into a TV show on KTN. So we actually did the groove party as a show on TV on KTN. Do you know how I know? Yeah. I was the host. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are the host. <laughs> you me, are the host. Me, Kambua. Yes, you, Kambua, and... Uh, Alemba. Alemba. So now I know the time you worked at... at, at, at yes. At, at, at Sound. yes. <laughs> That's crazy. So it was a bittersweet <laughs> night, because here I am, I'm doing this gig with Akina Joy, Kina Njesh, and 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 it's and it's my last gig. Mm. Mm. So then um, I left Mo Sound after eight after ten months, and uh, I went off to start my new job at Ogilvy Africa. What? Yes. <laughs> oh, you didn't know that part? No, I thought you're good. that's not the one. I was, that's not the way I thought you were going to tell me you went. Oh, okay. So I went to work for Ogilvy, Ogilvy Africa. Ogilvy Africa was and still is a Scanard Group company. So yeah. I went back to Scanard mm. basically. Um, and my question, as usual, mm -hmm. me panda. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, of course, of course. But but at this point, it's agency, and my target is Safaricom. Oh. My target okay. was Safaricom. So okay. I figured an Ikingia agency 
uh, kutakuwa poa. Okay, so just wait one second.